multiplying and dividing capacity. In this module, you will learn to multiply and divide capacity. Rhea and her family are celebrating Sid's birthday. Sid's mother is preparing fruit punch in a big container for all the children. She prepares 10 liters of juice. Sid asks his mother, How many 1 liter jugs can be filled from this container? Now, mother says, For finding this, we distribute the total juice into 1 liter jugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, here we see ten liters of juice is equally distributed in ten one liter jugs. Or, we can find this by simply dividing ten liters by one liter. Now Sid asks his mother that his friends are feeling thirsty, so can he serve juice to them? Mother and Sid go to the kitchen to take juice. While his mother is pouring juice into glasses, Sid asks her, How many glasses of juice are they able to serve? Then mother replies, One jug of juice fills five glasses. Then how many glasses are filled by 10 such jugs of juice? Sid thinks and then says, Here, I will multiply the capacity, but I do not know how to multiply the capacity. Then mother replies, The multiplication of capacity is same as numbers, and we can find it as, Number of glasses filled is equal to the number of glasses filled by one jug, Multiply by the number of jugs. Number of glasses filled by one jug is equal to 5. The number of jugs equal to 10. 5 multiply by 10 is equal to 50. So, they can serve 50 glasses from 10 jugs of juice. Sid feels happy to know that he can have 50 glasses of juice which are sufficient for his friends. Let's recap. 10 liters of juice is equally distributed in 10 jugs of 1 liter capacity. If one jug fills 5 glasses of juice, then 10 such jugs will fill 50 glasses of juice. 